So now I guess I'll go ahead and get that blueprint with Lanky while I'm thinking about it. Besides, Lanky is awesome anyways, so... Why not use him? Now be careful, because as soon as you warp to this area, that Kasplat will immediately start, a try, start to try to hit you, so... You don't want to make it all the way up here just to get knocked off like one second later. And I almost got knocked off right there. Before I jump off, are there any balloons around here? I don't think there are. Okay, so let's warp back. And good, we've taken care of that now. Okay, that's for Diddy. This is for Tiny. That's for Diddy again. And this is for Chunky. Mikey doesn't have anything at this cabin, so that's kind of disappointing. Although I guess he has that blueprint, which... You know, that at least makes logical sense now. Not a problem, though. I think Lanky actually has something up here, too, anyway, so... He's not completely left out. Actually, does he have something right here? Yes, he does. Okay. Hooray for using Lanky Kong, the most awesome Kong ever. Oh, wait, no, that's Diddy Kong. The second most awesome, but not by much, Kong... <clears throat> I have no idea what I'm saying right now. Okay, so in here, Lanky has some things he can do. I think this will actually be the first use of the uh, sprint move. Before you use it, though, it's best to take these guys out. And, oh damn it, I was too slow. Stop hitting me! Okay, there we go. So what you have to do here is you have to... Balloon yourself up here into the lanky barrel. <coughs> and then very quickly, move to the switch. Which will activate a gold banana, but you get a very small time limit. Quickly make yourself over to the banana and grab it before it goes back down. And there we go. That was the first use of the orangutan sprints. Not a very practical use of it, mind you, but we'll be using it a lot more as the game progresses, so don't worry about that. Okay, next I'm going to get out Donkey Kong because he has something else he can do over here. And I forget, have I gotten his blueprint yet? No, I haven't. Okay. I remember where it is now. It'll be a while before we actually get over to that area. But Donkey Kong has another cabin up here. And I believe the uh, battle pad is actually in here too. Okay, so to get this gold banana, as you can see we have some colored panels here. And there are also some colored panels on the wall as well. And there's also these switches. If you pound these switches, the room will rotate in that direction. So what you have to do is you have to match all the colored tiles together by ground pounding them. Or I guess it's just called Simeon Slam in this game, but whatever. What? That was Diddy over here, wasn't it? It was. Okay, I don't know, know why I missed that earlier. Okay, let's see if I can do this. It's going to be a close one. Oh crap, I might not do this in time. It's going to be very, very close. Come on. Come on. Woo! Did it with one second left. Okay, so grab the banana, and before we leave this area, we gotta do the uh, battle pad, so I'll do that next. <clears throat> I 
Okay, here we have Plinth Panic. This is where these games really start to get difficult, because as you can see, we have two Pasquats to deal with right off the bat. And it's kind of difficult to take care of them when you're fighting two at once. Just making sure you have your uh, charge move uh, charged up right before they enter. And you should take care of them with one blast at the same time. And that's really the strategy you have to use for this game. Not a very difficult strategy, just, you know, strategy. Okay, just one more round. And there we go. I believe that is our... seventh battle crown, I think. Yeah, it's seven, because we have the next world, the world after that, and then one more in the overworld, so... We're almost done with that, actually. But now we can actually leave this area. To leave, though, we have to be on this level. And there's the door. Okay, so what Kong are we going to use next? Before I make that decision, though, I think there are some bananas back in this area. But I'll grab very quickly while I'm thinking about them. Oh, wait, no, I got them already. Ah, oh, crap, I can't think, apparently. See, up here we have Tiny's Kasplat. And I can't tell if that's a purple balloon or not. I'm pretty sure it is, so I'm just going to skip that for right now. And move back over here because there is a triangle switch or a triangle pad. Which means Chunky has something to do over here. In here, we have another area where we have to use the Gorilla Gun move. Whenever you get hit by one of these searchlights, uh, our old friend Crosshair will actually come back and shoot you. And you probably don't want that to happen, so you have to be very quick and careful about this. But you have to pound the three targets around this room. It's not very hard to do. Watch out for the searchlights. And after you do that, a chunky pad will actually appear. So now we have to make our way to the chunky pad, which I believe is just on the other side of this room. Make sure the searchlight goes by before you go on top of it, and then grab the bananas, and then jump in the banana barrel. And there we go. And very appropriately enough, we have to play Searchlight Seek. I actually like when the game developers are all, you know, smart about that kind of thing. Basically, as I said earlier, this is the easier version of Big Bug Bash. Only because the clap traps have a very memor memor. They have a very, uh, easy to memorize pattern. And there we go, gold banana got. <laughs> I love when, uh, Chunky has his, uh, weapon out and when he's invisible. Because there's just, just like, this giant tree stump weapon just, you know, hanging out of nowhere. 
Okay, I think we're done with Chunky for right now. I guess I'll go back up and get Tiny, get her blueprint, and do her cabin room. And after that, I'll probably move on to Diddy's two cabin rooms, and then I'll be done with this area. So then I can move on to something else. First, let's move up here. Let's get our move charged up, and then let's... Okay, I didn't charge it up properly. There we go. Okay, we got her blueprint, and let's wait for the uh, stalactite just to stop falling. And there we go. Oh, well, actually, I haven't used Tiny very much in this level. Wow, that's a change from the norm. norm. It's not very often in the game where you don't use Tiny. Okay, so over here we have a saxophone switch. <clears throat> okay, in this room we kind of have to do what we did in Fungi Forest. We have to kill all the purple claptraps. Oranges. I suppose you could also just use like, your instrument, but... I like to do things the hard way, apparently. And there we go. Before I grab that, though, I'm, of course, going to get these bananas in the banana balloon. There we go. And I got them all, so let's grab the gold banana and then get the hell out of here. Okay, so I'm making some decent progress in this level, at least. I mean, I at least have, like, a lot of bananas in my first recording session. Unlike uh, Gloomy Galleon, when it seemed like forever before I got my first banana. Or, well, first bananas. Okay, so next we're going to use Diddy Kong. To get his two rooms out of the way. Now, one of his rooms I actually find quite annoying. It's not this one, it's the other one. But, like, I had so much trouble getting that second one when I first played this game, but now it's not as hard. Just because I know what I'm doing now. Okay, so in here we have two of these guys. Make sure you kill them first. Because when you do... You will activate a... Diddy Pad. Which will take you into a... If I can find it. Okay, where the hell is it? Okay, no, it's there. Never mind. But it'll take you into a Diddy Barrel. And what you have to do here is you have to light all the candles using the... Uh, Rocket barrels, um, fire. And after you do that, you get a gold banana. And that's two for Diddy Kong, and yeah, I'll probably just get the next banana, just so I have 150 at the end of this recording. And then I'll, you know, stop there. For right now, anyways. I might do another recording session later today. But we'll see. It really depends on how much time I have. And we got another banana fairy, which is nice. Then let's very quickly do this thing down here. I believe this is another area that actually features crosshair. It's kind of a timed mission to do. 